Good rising, brethren. This is Big Judah coming to you guys in California. Before I begin, give all praise to the Most High Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the earthly mother. Who is wisdom? Who is the Holy Spirit? Acknowledgement to Yahweh Shai. I pray the Most High blesses this lesson this evening, gives us more knowledge and understanding of the events of the past in order to understand the events that are currently happening on the earth. So we get a much better understanding of the things that are soon to come on the earth. Brethren, we are at a go time right now. As you can see every single day, more and more events are, you know, happening. And, you know, the other nations are trying to hide some of the events or put their own spin on the events. But what we have to understand, and this is very important, is that we have two worlds right now. And you really have to look to see which power you are serving. The Most High has made it very evident as to which power you are serving. You know, if you're the power of the God you're serving can't deal with any questions, can't deal with any scrutiny, that might be a problem. You know, if you got questions and your leaders can't answer any of them or refuse to or don't give you uh, adequate understanding or explanation, that should cause an issue with you. That's where you're, you know, you have a responsibility to start to chase after the Most High. You're not going to be able to say, oh, that was my pastor's fault. Oh, that was my priest's fault. Oh, well, you know, my granddad said this and my grandmother said this and, oh, this is just the way my mom and dad always did it. You have an opportunity to hear another perspective. And even if it might sound crazy, it's your opportunity to look up this information. I was listening to an interview on ESPN. I'm not going to share the names of the people, but there was just two guys talking about Kyrie. And one of them brings up Hebrews to Negroes. He just kind of, you know, the two black dudes, you know, black people are always clowning. Always wanting to make a joke out of everything. That's why they get their own shows. That's why they get their own podcast because they can't make, the other nations can't really be trying to make a joke out of this information. But they'll put our people up to it and they'll do a great job of clowning, up, clowning us. The guy's like, oh, I wish they would, you know, make it so it rhyme better so I can, you know, you know, do this and do that with it if they make the, you know, the title rhyme and stuff like that. But then the guy he was interviewing was just laughing, you know, hi, you know, everything's a joke. And he kind of threw his little two cents in and his two cents were, you know, you got to be real careful when you start talking about religion. It's a former NBA player, you know, you got to real, be real careful that, you know, because you're going to offend the people who are pretty much, you know, writing your checks and trying to give you an opportunity. So therefore, you know, you gotta be real careful with what you say and who you're offending. And some might not want to forgive you. And what was crazy was just like, he's like, well, and really you shouldn't really, unless you've gone to a theology school, you probably shouldn't be saying anything. And I'm just like, oh my God. Now we're busting out the theology schools, but you see how what they did was they just rounded you right back into following their power because all their theology schools are ran by their people. You see what I'm saying? 
Oh, so only the theology schools have the answers? I'm sure all the theology schools have a, um, you know, Hebrews, Hebrew Israelite 101 class for you to take, for you to be able to get some understanding. If you know you want to hear about, you know, breaking down the Hebrew Israelite movement, I'm sure that there's a class at all of these um, theology schools, right? You see, that's what they do. They always revert back to them being on top and them making all the decisions. And whatever it is that they say is the gospel truth. So pretty much, you know, Kyrie's ignorant because he didn't go to a theology school. And, you know, and he's offending people. And the only way he can really, you know, show that he knows something is by going to a theology school. Well, I'm going to let these guys know. I went to a theology school. And not once did I hear the professors talk about Hebrew Israelites. I never heard them talk about black Hebrew Israelites. Never heard them talk about so-called black people being Israelites. Never heard them talk about how we fit many of the curses in the Bible. You see what I'm saying? But they but that's what you that's what you get though. You know, you get the Greeks did this and the Greeks did that. But see, now we're coming out with all, all this information out here that is showing you that the Greeks did not originate with a lot of this information, that they copied much of this information. And they've already known this at these universities, but they keep, keep all that stuff on the down low. You see what I'm saying? Like that's, that's what's been going on. We got two worlds and these people are always trying to get you to come back to their world and come back under their thumb. Then he also said, this other guy, uh, the, the guest on the show said, well, you know, there's so much more to this. There's so much more than, you know, the Baptist church in South Central. You know, there's so much more, you know, that's why you need to go to like a, a theology school because there's so much more than just what you're going to hear or, or, you know, at a, um, at a Baptist church in South Central. Now, see, there's your stereotype again. Hey, all you guys are all pretty much poor. You all come from the inner city. And all of you go to these churches that don't t teach you very much. You think that so the so so called the uh, the churches in South Central, they're the ones that have been teaching about black Hebrew Israelites. See, another group of people who stay very far away from that topic. You see what I'm saying? Like, but that's what they, that's what they've been doing this whole time. When they can't explain something, you know, it's, you know, uh, well, you know, you need to go, you, you're not educated. You need to go talk to this priest or you need to go talk to this pastor. You need to go talk to this person, but it's always somebody that's in their group who they give, you know, <clears throat> they give homage to. But now we're getting this information about the Zodiacs. Where's all this information been? I never heard about this when I went to a seminary school. Never, never heard about any of this stuff when I was in theology school. Never heard about this when I went to church. I went to churches, you know, I went to pretty well-to-do churches in Orange County. So they wouldn't be necessarily considered um, like poor churches in South Central. And not once did I ever hear about Hebrew Israelites, black Hebrew Israelites, any of that stuff. I was, uh, you know, in the uh, youth groups, went there all through high school, was participating in them all the time, uh, and never heard about Hebrew Israelites, black Hebrews, any of that stuff. So like I said, they're always talking about Hey, you need to go, you need to get educated. You need to get educated. But the people that they want to do the educating, 
aren't in any position to educate anyone. Now fast forward to today. You got all these people who are still talking about if you want to be saved, if you want to be saved, just say this prayer. Say this sinner's prayer. I still have not found the sinner's prayer in the scriptures. Have not found where it says this is the sinner's prayer in the scriptures. Not one time. I guess keeping commandments, following the ways of the Most High, all that stuff doesn't matter. Following his feast days, staying away from the church's feast days, none of that stuff matters. Just saying the sinner's prayer. See, that's why you got these two worlds going on right now. And that's why anytime you bring up anything with these church-going people, or even not church-going people, they have such a hard time explaining anything because they can't. Still, we've asked for proof that we're stuck reading only the 66 books. Haven't received not one video from a Christian, from a Hebrew Israelite, from a Catholic, from anyone. Because you're going to have to prove how, you know, uh, Europeans have that kind of power. Have that kind of sway. How they're the ones that are in a position to say what you can and can't read. Because you look at everything that they've done, and they're not in any position to be telling anybody anything about being holy. But now look at what's going on in the um, in the world right now. You know, and they're still talking about the war in Ukraine. Now all of a sudden we got all these um, UFOs popping up all over the place. Okay? Things that um, they don't want to talk about. Things they've been aware of. But things that they do not want to talk about. Because these are the times that we're in. We're in the times of you know, the Most High revealing new information and new understanding. We're in the time of the Most High giving us back our tradition. And our traditions go back to the Zodiac. You know, they go back to our information before the Romans and the Greeks got their opportunity to rule. But the other nations have done everything in their power to erase all of that history. But what's a beautiful thing is the Most High has left all of these monuments and pyramids and cities and things like that that are now popping up everywhere to let everyone know that, hey, there was a whole lot here before these Gentiles got their opportunity to rule. So, like I said, they're using a lot of people, and that's why they really have worked so hard to oversimplify who is who. You know, they keep talking about how, A, you don't want to offend. You're going to offend these people. You know, you're going to offend ish. You're going to offend these people. And that. I said, who, what about offending us? Who cares? You know, if everyone keeps saying that we're all equal and that we all are the children of the Most High, how come no one cares about offending us as a people? You see, you guys have called us black. Where exactly in the scripture that you say you love so much are we referred to as Black people. You refer to us as African American. Where in the scriptures can I find me being called African American? You see what I'm saying? Those are offensive bywords given to our people. And we're just told that we are going to have to just accept it. 
this is why there's two worlds right now. And this is why the other nations, you know, are going to admit, like it says in Jeremiah 16, that their fathers have inherited lies. Nowhere else in the scriptures is it talking about Israelites inheriting lies from their fathers. So there must be a whole lot of lies. That would be uh, some pretty big lies right there. You guys calling a whole group of people something that they're not. And then you're assuming their identity. Then you're assuming their identity. And as you assumed it, now you are you put yourself in a position to where you are trying to break down their scriptures. Again, this is why we're living in two world and your most high is letting you see and if he's waking you up to see that he's giving you an opportunity to make some changes now if you choose not to that is on you but this world is doing its best to keep you asleep and keep you chasing after worldly things we're showing you about the zodiac showed you about Capricorn showed you how that works about from the the goat okay now the goat is used as a sacrifice like Yahweh and then the, the bottom part of the uh, of the goat being a fish and searching for the lost brethren the lost brothers and sisters we've already talked to you guys about that we're coming to the end of the time of the fishermen. Even though the other eight nations want to act as if somehow they've been searching or fishing for men, their attempt at fishing for men has been through the end of a sword. I don't know anywhere in the scriptures where it says that, you know, we're going to have to go and force people to follow the Most High. I'm not sure exactly where it talks about us having to force people you know with the threat of death to you know break into uh follow the most high but you see these are the things that have been going on for such a long time the vast majority of the world has gone out of their way okay to hide the history of their you know of their organizations you know, all the organizations, the educational system, medical system, right? Churches, religious, everything. They've gone out of their way to hide all of that because absolutely nothing that they've touched is pure. Everything that they've put their fingers on has been corrupted all the way up until today. Now they get their hands on our information and make it seem like it's theirs. They have, they can get a little bit of understanding, but they want to make it sound like it's theirs. But now what the Most High is showing you is that a lot of the understanding that they have is exoteric. And that, you know, well, and exoteric, and that the deeper understanding is reserved for the Most High's people. Now you should really get a good understanding about why James and Peter were talking about not sharing scriptures with the other nations. They were well aware of the things that the other nations would do. We are at the end and we are, have lived it and we see it. And it's just absolutely mind boggling to watch and to see how absolutely screwed up the whole world is right now. They screw everything up. They destroy absolutely everything. But if you talk about trying to reclaim your heritage or that, hey, no, I didn't reclaim it to say, hey, you know what? Uh, I think we might be those people. All of a sudden, you know, you're the worst thing ever. And they turn our own people against us. Which isn't that difficult because, hey, you know, you give them a contract, you give them some money. You give them um, some standing, and they'll quickly forget who they are. It's always the same ones 
over and over and over again. They use the same ones over and over again. You know, and I've been even noticing like on TikTok and, you know, a lot of these other um, social media things that they got these like comedians coming in and making, um, what is it, make, making comments on stuff. I'm like, who the hell cares about what a comedian has to say about this subject matter? You know, they're talking about Hebrew Israelites and they were just talking all this mess. I'm like, have you done any research? My no, but no, they want to come in and just clown because usually that's exactly what works. Just come in, be funny, clown, and then uh, the vast majority of your people will uh, just move right along. The vast majority of your people will just move right along. They'll fall right back into, you know, status quo, and we can just continue as life as normal. But that's okay. I said, hey. Just understand that there's going to be consequences for this. This is why when I got into the truth and I kept hearing people like, all black people are this, you know, all Mexicans are that, or, you know, all Native Americans are this. I was like, no, there's, there's no way. There's no way. You know, I said, so because just, you know, hey, there's too much mixing Right. There's too much mixing going on, have, has gone on and whatever else. And not only that, you can't trust everyone just because some people are going to want, take the bag in order for them to be able to live luxuriously right here. You know, you get a, a nice position where, you know, they let you do things that they do to a certain extent, like those off, like those uh, police officers in Memphis, you know, they were, they were, I guess they were talking about how they were just going around beating up people all over the place. But eventually, you know, they beat up the wrong one, got caught, and now all of a sudden they're going back and, and reviewing all these cases. Like, they didn't know that there was issues before. You see, this shows you the two systems. They're like, okay, you can come over here with us. We'll give you some perks. We'll let you do some certain things. We'll let you get away with certain stuff says, but just understand who's in charge. Just understand you, you can only go so far and that's it. And we'll let you know, you know, when you've gone a little bit too far and that'll be it. So like I said, we're not allowed, as you can tell, there's two worlds is you can't interpret the Bible. If you want to try to interpret scriptures, hey, you need to go to theology school. You need to go get some, some teaching. You need to go get some, you know, you're going to go learn by the, by the man. Cause the man's the only person that understands that Bible. I can't read it for myself and come up with my own. No, no, no. You can't do that. You're not smart enough for that. You want me, you don't believe me here. Check out this uh, comedian. He gonna make some jokes for you. And then you'll see how, how, you know, it's not for you, you know, and just let, let, let them, let the, let the Gentiles go ahead and handle all that stuff for you. He's the same Gentiles that keep calling me black when I'm not black. Yeah, but you know what? Hey, don't let that bother you. Don't don't let that bother you. It's okay. They're the ones that call me African American, and you know Jesse Jackson just got, you know, he just made up that term in 1987 or 88. Yeah, but don't worry about that, man. Hey, they're letting you, uh, they're letting you work. They're letting you buy a house. They're letting you, you know. Hey, don't worry about it, man. You know, just. I said I don't have a history. I don't have anything. Nah, man. No, 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 but don't worry about that, man. You know, don't don't worry about that. You see what I'm saying? Like, this is why why you can't even ask questions. You guys are taking all of our history for yourselves, and you've elevated yourself to these lofty positions. But now the Most High is showing that you really have no understanding. You really don't have any understanding. You've stolen other people's information. And you are not going to be able to hold on to this position for much longer. We're coming into the new year next month. And I can anticipate quite a few things getting ready to jump off. Just because it's time. These people have, have you know, and, you know, 
had these positions for such a long time. And as you can tell, like I said, they cannot deal with any kind of scrutiny. All of a sudden I heard that they were shooting down all these UFOs. And then I heard a story that uh, said, what did it say? Uh, oh, we can't, where, where the stuff fell down, we can't get to it. So where, where the, uh, these, these machines or whatever they are, you know, these UFOs fell, we can't get to them. Sounds more like you couldn't shoot them down. But hey, you know, what, whatever story you want to put out there, you know, it's, it's your priority. You can put out whatever story you want. You know, it's about now who's going to believe the stories. Who's going to believe the stories? When you go back into the um, apocalypse of Elijah, and they talk about when the angels come and remove the most High's chosen people, and how the rest of the nation, the rest of the world, is absolutely pissed. The rest of the world finally realizes that they've been lied to about everything. If you want to read about that, it's in the Old, Old Testament pseudepigrapha. Okay? Test of the Apocalypse of Elijah. He sends a couple of angels who come and get, or a lot of angels, who come and get the Most High's chosen people and takes them away. Just imagine what the all these people who who've done their uh, what are they, they've done their prayer. You know, they hey, I've done my prayer, man. What, what, you you're here to pick me up, right? But they're not getting picked up. You did your sinner's prayer. You do it all the time, but you're not. Most High doesn't hear the the prayers of sinners, and the Most High leaves you here. Then all of a sudden, that's when you're going to realize that you've been lied to. That your world and the world that you've been living in and basking in has been a lie the whole time. And that's when all these people are like, are pissed off and upset. And they talk about, they talk to the devil pretty much saying, you know, that you lied to us. You can't even save yourself. You made us an enemy of the Most High. Just listen to that. You made us an enemy. Of the Most High. We've been trying to tell you the truth. We've been trying to take away that status of you being an enemy to the Most High. All you have to do was go and research what we tell you. We have a website, bigjuda.com. Got a whole lot of, you know, books and information right there you can go get on. Got a whole lot of videos you can go back and check. And you can go back and do research on your own. A whole lot of books you can go and check out. And you can go and check yourself. But that might be too much. But your future has already been told. In the apocalypse of Elijah, when it says that you go to the devil and you say, you know, you lied to us. You made us an enemy of the Most High. You know, that the sun shone here, the sun is shining. The good things are here on the earth because the Most High's chosen people were here. But as soon as he removes us, Everything goes to hell. That's what you are on the verge of right now. So as much as you want to say things like, you know, all you guys are about is hate. All you guys, you know, God doesn't, you know, he doesn't deal with people who hate. How are we hating? The ones that are hating are you. You won't even admit that we're not black people. You won't even admit that we're not African American. You cannot prove that we came here from Africa. You cannot prove in the Bible that we were called African Americans in the scriptures or that we were referred to as black people in the scriptures. Hell, you're not referred to as white people in the scriptures. But you hate us so much that you don't even want to consider the fact that we could be right and that we could actually be the Most High's chosen people and that we could be the ones that the Most High has given knowledge to in order to lead you to Him. That just shows you how, really, how much you hate us. We listened to you. You know, you act like we never went to your churches. 
that's why when I heard that guy talking about, oh, you need to go to uh, if you if you want to talk about certain things, you know, you just kind of you know you sound ignorant or pretty much. Yeah, that's pretty much what he's saying. And you need to go to a the- theology school. You don't think our people's gone to theology school? Yeah, they've gone to theology school and they still got lied to. It's not like you get information at theology school, but see, that's what they do. That's what they do. They tell you half truths, a little bit of information, and that's it. But see, Apocalypse of Elijah is telling you, they get, you get removed and it just goes to hell. They're like, if you can find us any of these Israelites, if you can find us one, we'll listen to him now. If you can find us one that will teach us, we will listen to him. That's what it talks about in the Apocalypse of Elijah. That's that famine of the word. You got your word going out right now, but the famine is coming. And you got a lot of people who say they're in the truth, but they're still pushing famine of the word ideas. They're still pushing World War III. They're still pushing, you know, oh, Mark of the Beast and everything everything that the church has pushed, they're still pushing. They're not looking at, hey, we can get removed to the inner earth. We There are other books that we should be checking out. You know, I've heard for years, yeah, there's a book of Enoch, but that book of Enoch's not the right one. How the hell do you know? I can say that about all of the books in the Bible. Yeah, that's a book of Matthew, but that's not the right one. That's not even a book of Matthew because those names were put on those books way later. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, those aren't the names of the people, you know, who wrote those books. They, but they do that to make it, just to give some validity. I want to say that all the people and the, and the Gospels, not one of them actually um, observed Yahweh. So that's even secondhand information. So like I said, so come on now. So stop, stop, stop running around here acting as if the Bible has everything and that it has not been tampered with. Because we know that that's not the case whatsoever. And we're talking about how, you know, there's nothing in the Bible, and I'm going to bring this out later on, that is talking about, you know, like if you dug into the book of Job, the book of Job is giving you all this information about the Zodiac. And it's giving you all this scientific information about the Zodiac. But it's been interpreted by the churches to be evil information in order to keep you away from it. So again, you got your two worlds right there. Okay? You got your two worlds. And you can see exactly what's going on with these two worlds, okay? Got the two worlds going on right now. You can see what's going on. But real soon... This world that, you know, the vast majority of the people participate in is about to get exposed. And it's going to be a lot of people that are going to be left here who are going to then remember, I remember such and such showing me this. I remember such and such showing me that. I wish I would have taken some time and looked at this. I wish I would have taken some time and looked at that. You know, but I was too busy, you know, doing this and I was too busy doing that instead of, you know, spending time chasing after the most high. You're getting that opportunity right now. What you do with it is up to you. But we're coming to the end. Coming to the end of that seven years next year, the 2024, with that X coming over the United States. We're moving into this last year here. Well, the next year, 2023. So like I said, we're going, there's a whole lot of things going on. We know that he said we, that X is going to be here in 2024. And as you can see, every year, things are getting nothing but worse and worse. So really take the time to think about who it is that you're serving. All praise to the Most High, Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the earthly mother. Who is wisdom? Who is the Holy Spirit? Acknowledgement to Yahweh Shai. Shalom.